Hey ladies, how's it go? Hey guys, this is Connor from Survivor Crafters, and today I am doing a multi-mod review. Sorry for my long absence, I've been kinda busy, but you know, that's beside the point. Anyway, today I will be reviewing a number of mods. You can see from the map in the upper right corner that I will be doing the Raise Minimap mod, and if you see from my knees, I have the Animated Players mod, and the sound in the background is the Matmos mod. Um, but the main mod I am reviewing today is the Camping mod, and that's what took me, that's what took me an hour and a half to set up this entire camping site, but anyway, um, <laughs> uh, this mod adds tons of cool stuff, it's really an incredible mod, I, I've never done a mod this big before, in fact, I've hardly do any mods, but anyway, guys, uh, let's get started, uh, first off, the game adds two new mobs, the campers, um, they basically have two different skins, a male and a female, but, uh, you know, that one used to be a male, but I don't know what happened, you know, the skin just changed, they're basically the same, though, they just, you can trade with them, uh, marshmallows, and marshmallows to get an emerald. We'll go into marshmallows in a minute. That was a weird sentence. But anyway, um, you to make a bag, which is one of the most essential parts of a camper's equipment, um, you take six canvas. Oh no, you take sorry, you take eight canvas around the outside of the crafting interface, and that makes a small camping bag. Same pattern, but with a small camping bag in the middle to make a normal camping bag, and then that same pattern, but with a normal camping bag in the middle to make a large camping bag. They're basically portable chests, and though it may take a bit to make, I'll show you the canvas recipe in a minute, it's very useful. Uh, yeah, this mod is so big that it has, like, recipes inside recipes, so I'll go into the camper's tool next. But, uh, to make ten canvas, you just take six string along the bottom and one camper's tool up top. And basically, that gives you ten canvas. To make tent pegs, which are another essential part of the tent, you take iron and then one camper's tool, and you get four tent pegs. And that can make a tent for you. But anyway, um... Right here, I'll go into the tools quick. Whoops. Uh, basically, you take six rows red along the outside and three iron ingots on the inside, and you get a camper's tool. To make a camper's tool version 2, which is a more advanced version, as you can see from the extra blade, you do the same pattern, but... Uh, or no, you don't. It's basically inverted. There are six iron ingots on the outside, two rows red on the inside, and one camper's tool. But, um, apart from that, let's go into the marshmallows. Again, weird sentence, but anyway, uh, to make four marshmallows, you take six sugar on the outside, one water bottle, and one egg, and then a bowl. That makes four marshmallows. And then to make marshmallows on a stick, which you can cook in a campfire and get cooked marshmallows, basically you just do one marshmallow on top and three sticks underneath, and you get three cooked marshmallows, or three marshmallows on a stick. Anyway, to make campfires, uh, you take three stone three torches, one flint, and you get a campfire. That's just a decoration one, you can't do anything with that, I'm right clicking it right now. Uh, but you use that in other crafting recipes. Right here is the insta-cooking campfire. You just put anything in and it, boom, instantly cooks it. Uh, to make this, you do one multi-cooking campfire, one campfire decoration, one cheap cooking campfire, and one fast cooking campfire, and that makes them insta-cooking. Uh, to make the cheap cooking campfire, you take a campfire and four ender pearls around it, and you get the cheap cooking campfire. But to make the multi-cooking campfire, where you can cook multiple things at a time, you just put four furnaces around the outside of a normal campfire. That's very useful. Um, all of these are. This is the fast cooking campfire. You just take four flint and steel and put it around the decoration campfire, and you can cook things pretty darn fast. But anyway, to review the tents and how you can make those, basically, uh, let's start out with the sleeping bag. You take three wool along the middle of the crafting bench of any color and you get a sleeping bag. You can only place that inside the tent. So to make the tent, you take five canvas and two tent pegs on the bottom and you get one tent. Um, and uh, one last thing in this mod before I go on to the others really quick. Uh, there is the radish, which basically is the fastest growing crop in the game and it's ideal for camping. Anyway guys, um, if I left anything out in this mod, just leave in the comments a post about what I did, and, uh, onto the animated player mod really quick. Basically, this is one of my favorite mods ever. I use this wherever I go, on servers and stuff. It just, it's a client-side mod, so all the servers and characters show it having the exact same stuff. But, basically, you have knees. That's what's incredible about it. But, anyway, um, 
the Matmos mod, which I am also using, just if you can hear from the birds in the background, changes the sounds in the world. It like takes a survey of where you are and, based on your environment, makes sounds according to what it should be, like wind blowing on the prairie and stuff like that. Anyway, um, and Ray's Mini Map mod, it's a very old mod, but it's still very, very useful. Um, to activate it, you just click M, and then uh, basically you can change the stuff, the settings from there. So, guys, uh, this is Connor, and if you're new to the channel and you like the commentary, click that like and that subscribe button. Oh, I sound like someone else now, but anyway, um, this has been Connor, and I am wet. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe, rate, comment, do whatever, get your friends to join the channel, and see ya.